morning YouTube or good afternoon probably the time this video gets posted but uh, I'm gonna show you how I feed deer corn and uh, get the best results and from the feeding the way I feed it I've tried feeders I've tried different things over the years and this is the way I get best results and, and check my trail camera was like I say my hunt is done this year I'm just kind of doing it see what I got on this new lease and we always always like to thank everybody's been watching our videos and uh, we sure appreciate it uh, you guys make it possible for us to bring them to you and uh, I hope this is a maybe a help to somebody and uh, we'll get on around the road here to our hunting spot and uh, see if we can't feed the deer a little bit and see if, see if we got anything on the card and uh, guys we just we, we like I say we, we thank everybody for watching our videos and uh, we've been fishing about every even we had snow yesterday even I went I just ain't been getting nothing to get on camera uh, I really ain't even had a bite in the last three trips for fishing for stripers, but uh, we keep a trying, guys. We keep a trying, but uh, maybe we'll get into them some night. I got into the shed last night, but uh, this road was blocked off with some trees. Somebody's been back here and cut them out. But that's that's all our lease to where it showed up pretty bad. And uh, a lot of hunting activity goes on back here. Uh, seen some deer in here the other day, some does, but uh, you know, I'm on a feed and just kind of get them used to coming this salt lick. I'll probably just feed mineral and a little corn all summer. Do a little bow hunting in here. And I don't know if I'll hunt in here in rifle season or I'll hunt my other lease, but uh, whichever one, but me myself. I'd rather fish. I love fishing, guys. It's just something you can do year-round. Uh, here in Kentucky, there's no season on fish. Anything's open year-round, that makes it good. Uh, you know, yeah, I can't say I don't love deer hunting, but I love eating deer meat. And uh, I think this is the Wednesday before Lake Muzzleo season opens here in Kentucky. They've got the roads open. They're gonna be a bunch back in here hunting. I may be helping them by feeding this corn. But we'll get up this bank here and get to the feeding spot and check our trail cameras and they ain't stowed it. That little buggy, I mean, you can pack corn right in the woods with it. It works great. Hold on a few minutes, guys, and I'll be right back with you. Here's my feeding spot. I made a video the other day. It's just a cold, windy and stuff. I lost it. And I'm just phone won't do right when it's cold. Got my camera set up right there on the tree. And that's where I poured the deer cane out the other day. Right there's the tree I'm planning on putting the tree stand in. And if you watch my lake video, right over the bank that's where we was at on the boat. First off, I'm going to check this camera out here, see what's going on with it. I didn't get no pictures the other day. I don't know if I didn't have it set right or what. Well, no, first off, I'll, I'll show you how I feed the corn. That's the title of the video. I just mainly take a bag of corn, just kind of pull back, and I'll just dump it out the pot right there. And that works the best for me. That, that absolutely works the best for me. Just, uh, my father-in-law want me that thicker. They use full deer feeders and all that stuff. I hope I got that on camera. And his son, these are the pile up and pile. Now, if you got bears in your wood, it's going to attract bears. But now the turkeys won't eat near as much of it. Uh, I don't like broadcasting it. Because the turkeys eat more, which I don't mind the turkeys eating. They gotta have food too. There's a lot of them in here, but uh, if you don't broadcast it and just pile it up in a pile like that, so like it tracks deer better. They can come and eat when they want. Uh, you can see all the deer have been tromping around here, and I just put, I ain't I ain't refreshed the site in 
a week. So, but if you're feeding the hunt over the feed, which is legal here in Kentucky, you need to keep your corn out. Don't let your corn pile go dry because everybody is feeding someone or another and it just seems like it, uh, if you don't kick corn out, they'll go to somebody else's pile. But that's the way I do it, is pour it out like that. That's the best results of getting near my salt lick. And uh, just pile up the corn like that and seem like the deer like it better like that. It's worked good for us. Now let's see if I can't get this trail camera. Sit you guys down up there for a minute. It ain't been taking pictures and I don't know why. I hope I didn't um, leave my film because if I did, I'll have to make another trip in here. I was hoping I did. I went to town yesterday and bought a new 32 gig film car. And now, I'm having trouble finding it. But I was thinking I brought it. I was hoping I brought it. Maybe I did. Well, we'll see what we got going on here. If anything, I didn't get a picture of one the other day. I don't know. I don't see it doing nothing right now. I'm sure got to take that part out. And, uh, I don't think I got any big for my car. I think I left my car at home, but. I have to go back and look for it. I'm not finding it on me. I usually forget something. But, uh, yep. That's a Bushnell trail camera. I don't know. It may know anything about them. I used it one year and my wife got Christmas for me. It seemed to work pretty good. But, uh, I'm going to lock her back down and go back to the house see if I can find my trail camera card. Come back around here and put it back out. That's such a beautiful tree there for a tree stand. But that's exactly how I feed them, just like that right there, with the best results, feeding corn to the deer. But uh, like I say, I'm not hunting. I'm just feeding the deer and trying to catch, see what's around here on trail camera on the new leaves. Uh, we've been uh, fishing, like I say, about every evening. Not really doing no good. And uh, that's why we ain't brought no fishing videos. Uh, but guys, as always, we appreciate you watching our videos, and uh, we it's just a blessing to our heart to see all the comments and stuff. We welcome all the comments and criticism, and and uh, and I hope it's educational on how to feed the deer, because this works the best for me. The turkey will pick around in it, but they won't mess with it much. Now the bear will eat it up if you got bear in your woods, but. Uh, and like the deer likes it better like that it's natural there's no feeders kicking on or nothing like that and uh how much do we pour i'll run and if i'm gonna hunt over it i'll run i'll keep 50 pounds out every two days pour that on the ground uh and uh i'll do that from uh september october november usually and i'll slack off a little bit and uh but I keep playing minerals and stuff out for them too but uh, I hope that's been helpful. And like I say, as always, we thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and uh, guys, we'll catch you on the next. And may God bless.